Hello people, I am Dr. Sajad Pathan and today we are going to look at MRKM primary buzzwords part 5. Let's see nerve supply of pectoralis major and pectoralis minor. What is the nerve supply of pectoral muscles? It is medial and lateral pectoral nerves. Medial and lateral pectoral nerves supplies pectoralis major and pectoralis minor. Nerve supply of latissimus dorsi and that would be thoracodorsal nerve, dorsi dorsal nerve. This is very easy. Nerve supply of serratus anterior. This one is also very easy. Nerve supply to serratus anterior is nerve to serratus anterior or also known as long thoracic nerve. So how I remember it? I remember it as SALT, S-A-L-T, serratus anterior, lateral, uh, long thoracic nerve. Uh, injury to long thoracic nerve will give rise to, if there is an injury to long thoracic nerve, which is you will get paralysis of serratus anterior. So what does it produce? It produces winging of scapula. Injury to nerve to serratus anterior or long thoracic nerve will give rise to winging of scapula. And this is the visual cue. When they try to press the wall, you see the winging of scapula. Rotator cuff muscles. Name the rotator cuff muscles. And they are the sits muscle, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, subscapularis. Remember, it is teres minor, not teres major. Nerve supply of supraspinatus and infraspinatus is suprascapular nerve. So, both the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus is suprascapular nerve. Nerve supply of teres minor is axillary nerve. Teres minor is axillary nerve. Subscapularis is subscapular nerve. Nerve supply of subscapularis, subscapular nerve. So, you need to remember these. Nerve supply of teres major. Nerve supply of teres major is lower subscapular nerve. So subscapularis was subscapular nerve. Teres major is lower subscapular nerve. Teres minor was axillary nerve. Branches of brachial plexus. So there are five branches, terminal branches of brachial plexus, and they are marmor, median nerve, axillary nerve, radial nerve, musculocutaneous nerve, ulnar nerve. You need to remember these five mm, nerves. Axillary artery has three parts. Axillary artery has three parts from the lateral border of scalenus anterior to the medial border of pectoralis minor. The second part is below the pectoralis minor and the third part arises from the lateral border of pectoralis minor to the lower part of teres major. So remember it goes below the minor but above the major and it ends at the lateral border of teres major and continues as brachial artery. Pectoralis minor divides the axillary artery into three parts. Okay, The first part gives rise to one branch, the second part gives rise to two branches, the third part gives rise to three branches. Upper trunk injury. So there is a patient who's come with an upper trunk injury. And in an adult, it can be a fall on outstretched hand. Uh, in a child or in a newborn, uh, it would be shoulder dystocia giving rise to an upper trunk injury. So what will it give rise to? It will give rise to herbs palsy. Herbs palsy. Upper trunk is herbs palsy and it will be waiter tip hand. That's the herbs palsy waiter tip hand. Lower trunk injury as if somebody is falling down and holds on to a tree or in shoulder dystocia again, you will get clump case paralysis which is claw hand and that's the claw hand due to clump case paralysis and that's the picture diagram of shoulder dystocia or somebody holding the tree. Nerve supply of deltoid. Nerve supply of deltoid is axillary nerve. You know the regimental badge area where you check for the sensation. Nerve supply of BBC, which is biceps brachii, brachialis and coracobrachialis. Nerve supply of biceps brachialis and coracobrachialis is musculocutaneous nerve. This is a question commonly tested. So you remember biceps brachii, brachialis, coracobrachialis. How do you remember them? People with huge biceps are called as muscular people. So biceps musculocutaneous nerve. Cubital fossa relationship of structures from medial to lateral. Medially, 
to laterally. It is mnemonic is my baby turned red, which is median nerve, brachial artery, bicep tendon, and radial nerve. Median nerve, brachial artery, bicep tendon, and radial nerve. Anteriorosseous nerve is a branch of. It is median nerve. Remember main, median nerve, anteriorosseous nerve, main. Posteriorosseous nerve and artery is a branch of. Posteriorosseous is a branch of radial nerve. So, posteriorosseous, radial nerve, anteriorosseous, median nerve. But anteriorosseous artery is a branch of. It's not. There's no medial artery. So it's a branch of ulnar artery. Anteriorosseous is a branch of ulnar artery. Radial nerve supplies what muscles? Radial nerve supplies best muscles, which is brachioradialis, extensors, supinator, and triceps. Brachioradialis, extensor, supinator, and triceps. Forearm nerve supply. Forearm nerve supply. The nerve supply to forearm. You, you need to remember that on the lateral part, it is distal lateral and proximal lateral. So proximal lateral, it is muscular cutaneous nerve. Distal lateral, it is lateral cutaneous nerve. And medially, it is medial cutaneous nerve. So laterally, proximal muscular cutaneous, distal lateral cutaneous nerve. Medially, the whole medial part is medial cutaneous nerve. Anatomical snuff box. The boundaries of anatomical snuff box are, you need to remember, laterally it is abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis long brevis. Medially it is extensor pollicis longus. APL, EPB is lateral and medially it is EPL. Carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel has median nerve. Carpal tunnel has median nerve. Guyan's canal, which is on the top of carpal tunnel, has ulnar nerve. Ulnar nerve in Guyan's canal. Thenar eminence muscles are the loaf muscles, loaf muscles, lateral to lumbricals, opponent's pollicis, abductor pollicis brevis, and flexor pollicis brevis. Hypothenar muscles, hypothenar muscles are again loaf muscles, the medial to lumbricals, opponent's digiti minimi, abductor digiti minimi, and flexor digiti minimi. Lumbricals, lumbricals, the function of lumbricals is they make your hand look like L. It flexes your metacarpophalangeal joint and extends the interphalangeal joint. Thenar muscles nerve supply is median nerve which is CAT1. Hypothenar muscle nerve supply is ulnar nerve which is CAT1. Again, CAT1. Cutaneous nerve supply of the palm, you need to remember lateral three and a half digits. Lateral three and a half digits on the palmar aspect is median nerve and medial one and a half digit is ulnar nerve. Cutaneous nerve supply of the hand dorsally is different. Lateral two and a half digit, lateral two and a half digit is radial nerve. Medial two and a half digit is ulnar nerve. This is the picture diagram and uh, you need to remember three and a half and two and a half digit. Functions of palmar introsias. Palmar introsias are small muscles of the hand which causes pad, which is ad adduction of digits. Adduction of digits is palmar introsia. Functions of dorsal introsia is dab, which is abduction of digits. So pad and dab. Nerves injured in fracture neck of humerus or inferior dislocation of shoulder is axillary nerve. Axillary nerve is the nerve injured in surgical neck of humerus fracture. Humerus shaft fracture nerve injured is your radial nerve which will cause wrist drop. Radial nerves are injured in shaft fracture. Nerves injured in distal humerus fracture which is especially the medial epicondyle fracture distal humerus fracture medial epicondyle fracture is the ulnar nerve which causes claw hand so radial nerve shaft and distally distal humerus is ulnar nerve radial nerve injury will give rise to wrist drop ulnar nerve injury give rise to claw hand what are the muscles originating at medial epicondyle they are the flexor if they are if there is an issue with those muscles you get golfer's injury golfer's injury is flexor medial epicondyle Lateral epicondyle is your tennis elbow, tennis elbow. These are the extensor. The last slide, can you locate the palmaris longus tendon over here? It's a vestigial organ. Uh, it's a vestigial tendon uh, between the uh, 
you you can look at the image thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel for more videos good luck for your exams study well peace